hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a very exciting video. This one is a brand new one to my channel and today I have created my own cleaning tag. Now you guys know me and you know that I'm obsessed with cleaning and I do lots of cleaning content over here and I love minimalizing and having a tidy home. So I thought what better than to create a cleaning tag for us all to share our favorite things, our cleaning products, our routines and get a bit more of an insight into our schedules because I have so many people asking me how I work on a day-to-day -day basis, what I use for certain things, and I thought it'd be great if all of us could share this, we'd all be helping each other out. So I've created a tag, and obviously I'm gonna be tagging some of the lovely ladies that I would love to do this at the end of the video. But I also wanted to say that if you did wanna join in and you don't have a channel, that's not a problem. I'd still love to hear your responses, and obviously we can still all help each other. So you can obviously leave your answers in the comment box below, so obviously I can see what your routine are like, what your favourite products are like, what your thoughts are on some of this stuff. Some of this stuff may be a little bit more controversial, who knows, but I would love to hear your thoughts on that. And if you're new around here, then hello and welcome. My name is Ellis, I'm a mum of two boys. I have Clayton who is four and I also have Parker who is one. And over here I do lots of cleaning, minimalisation videos, decluttering, all of that alongside doing interiors and hauls and travel and I also do like self-care, law of attraction, finances you name it I probably do cover it so if you like that sort of thing then I would love for you to click the subscribe button below if you're not subscribed already and I would love for you to hit the bell notification button which notifies you every time I post a video which is generally around three times a week my schedule is generally a Tuesday Thursday and a Sunday all of that can change depending on if my sons have decided they want to be ill one week or whatever it may be you know how it goes but yeah if you like this sort of thing I would love to have you over here and I'm going to jump straight in with question number one. Okay, so question number one is what's your idea of a clean home? Now, what I mean by this is I have so many people that look at my home and when I do cleaning videos, sometimes you guys go, oh my gosh, Ellis, your house is already tidy. It already looks amazing. That's what mine looks like at the end. What are you tidying? How can you call it a disaster? How is it not clean? And the reason why I say this is for me, having a tidy home and a clean home are two very different things. So a tidy home for me is obviously everything being put away on the work surfaces and everything kind of being back in its place. But a clean home to me is everything being thoroughly deep cleaned. And I feel like there's a little bit of an in-between where some people feel like a clean home is obviously everything being tidy. Some people feel like a clean home is having like all the drawers done and everything shoved away and not just shoved away behind a cupboard and cleaned up properly. But for some people having a clean home is actually having it physically clean clean and not just tidy and that's me so when you say to me oh my god your house is already clean just because it may look clean to the eye it isn't and for me things like skirting boards and having lights dusted and having the drawers tidy and not having a manic cupboard and having everything have its place that's what a clean home is to me so I'd love to know what that means to you so the next question I've got for number two is do you think women have it harder nowadays to keep a clean and tidy home than previous generations now for me this is without doubt a really easy answer and yes 100% I think we have it harder the majority of women nowadays don't get to go out and just be a mum and raise their children and be a stay-at-home wife nowadays most women are running businesses or they're working or they're going off to work and not only are we juggling work we're juggling being a mum to our children but then we're also trying to juggle having a tidy home and all things like that and I feel like years ago going back all those different generations women's primary focus was to literally look after the home and the children have dinner served up on a plate for their husband and that was their role and they didn't go out to work but the roles have shifted over time and women now work and that's why I think we have it a lot harder than previous generations but I don't think I'd change it like I'd never swap it for anything I love being a working mum and having a tidy home and a clean home it's just a bit of a juggling balance Okay, so question number three is, do you have scheduled cleaning routines? And this is a bit of a hit and miss answer for me. I do a bit of both. So for this, I have morning routines and I like to know that of a morning, 
I will make my bed, I'll open my shutters. I like to generally make sure the kitchen's tidy after the boys have had breakfast and do a quick tidy round. I also do lots of mini cleans throughout the day. So I don't have a long time that I spend on things, but I generally have lots of mini cleans as well. And I'll do those. I also tend to have an evening cleaning routine as well, which will be like tidying up the boys' toys after dinner and all things like that. But then likewise, I also generally have like a Sunday cleaning routine, which generally involves like cleaning the bed sheets, doing the shutters, and um, what else do I do? Cleaning some of the windows. I'm just trying to think, washing. I mean, I always do washing. So I generally have lots of things like that that happen on a Sunday, but then I don't generally have a fixed day that I do the bathrooms and the deep cleans of the living rooms and the bedrooms and stuff like that. And if I don't happen to get it done one day, then it's not a massive issue. And I'll just go with the flow. Sometimes I like to do all of the upstairs. Sometimes I like to do all three bathrooms in one go. It just kind of depends what mood I'm in. So question number four is what is your holy grail cleaning product? And I think for me, it has got to be a couple of them, being a bit naughty, but my first one is Method. I couldn't live without it. Wild rhubarb scent is just amazing. When I'm cleaning with it, it makes my home smell so lovely, so nice, so fresh. It leaves such a lovely scent. And to know that it's non-toxic, I love using it on the boys' high chairs and all things like that. So I love that. However, obviously this wouldn't be me if I didn't say Zoflora. Zoflora has obviously hands down got to be one of my favorite cleaning products I love to use. But for me, the reason why I love Zoflora so much is obviously because of how multifunctional it is. I use it in so many places from fragrance in the home, obviously cleaning down the radiators, cleaning down wipes. And one of the main things that I love is that I can use it in so many different ways to fragrance the home. And obviously, like I've said before, I started using this years years ago now when I had a really smelly rug in my first house. I think it was about five, what's five, six years ago now. So I've used it for such a long time and I just love the variety of scents they offer and all things like that. So question number five is what is the worst room to clean in your home? And for me, hands down, it has to be the bathroom. I hate cleaning the bathrooms. They are the bugbear of my life. The reason why I hate them so much is tiles and grout. I hate going around them, spraying like all the mold and mildew spray and all things like that. Plus, I'm one of those people that's a perfectionist. So when it comes to things like obviously polishing up the glass doors, that just takes a lot of time getting rid of all the watermarks buffing up all of the chrome and stainless steel finishings from my towel rail to my taps and the shower head. Gosh, it takes me forever. The basic clean isn't so bad, but I also find that my bathroom is one of those places that just accumulates dust as well. So unless I'm physically on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor, dust will just sit there. So I think it's one of those areas that just takes me the longest and I'm not a big fan of. So this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't include a hack. So for question number six, it is what is your favorite cleaning hack? Now I have two and again, I'm cheating. My first favorite cleaning hack that I found and I did a whole entire video on this, which I will leave in the description box below. But my first one is the Magic Eraser. If you haven't used them, they are a godsend. Honestly, they have so many different uses. I use my Magic Eraser for having a boy, a bit TMI, but having a boy, they generally don't aim directly in the toilet. It can go on the seat quite a bit and all things like that. And I find that a Magic Eraser polishes up the white toilet seat and makes them white again very, very well. I also love it for my white sinks, for crayon marks on the wall I've used it for in the past. Gosh, what else have I used it for? I use it on so many things, getting labels off of bottles and drink bottles and all things like that. A magic eraser is a godsend. And I would say my next little mini hack and the thing that I love to use is the dishmatic. So these are the things that you normally use to clean your plates and your cups and things like that. And you pour the washing up liquid <laughs> directly into the top. Now recently, not only are they extremely handy for washing up and cleaning, but I also have a second one that I use in the shower and the bathtub. And what that basically enables me to do is clean the whole of my bathroom with a really scrubby brush, but instead of the pressure being on my hands, I have something to hold it with and I dilute the stuff into the top of the bottle, saving me spraying stuff and all things like that. And I absolutely love using it. And I think you would have seen me do this on my recent bathroom clean with me video and declutter as well. So I'll share it with you in that if you haven't seen that as well. I will link that below. 
But they are probably my two ultimate hacks when it comes to cleaning. So question number seven is what are your favorite cleaning tools? And again, I have two of these. My first one is my trusty blue scraper. I use it all the time, generally in my kitchen, which is where I generally tend to use it, but it is something that I purchased off of Amazon. It may be linked in the description box below. If not, I'll link it now for you. It cost me a pound, and it's basically a little blue scraper about this big, and I literally just go around scraping off any of the hard food that's stuck to the table, on the floor, on the high chairs, anything that's sat on the work surfaces, and it means that instead of me having to use a physical hard elbow grease to scrub away at the work surfaces I just get the spruce blue scraper it doesn't damage them at all and it comes right off and I mean it was a pound so you really can't go wrong my next one I like to call I think it's the sonic turbo brush again I purchased this on Amazon so I'll leave it linked below but it is a, like an automated the way I describe it is it's like an electric toothbrush again I've been using this for ages now and I might primarily love it in my bathroom and my kitchen and again I love using it around all of the little areas that I can't get into so all of the tap and sink plug holes, they are absolutely amazing for that. They've got like, loads of different heads. I love to use it around my shower and the little twisty like knobby bits. I also love to use it on the grout lines because it stops me having to really, really like scrub at them. And anything else that seems a little bit harder to get to, this is amazing for that. There's also so many other uses, but they are primarily what I use that for. The next question I have is, do you regularly minimize and declutter your home? Now for me, this this has been something that I've done for years now. I know that everyone's kind of gone on a mad tangent because of the Marie Kondo stuff and the television program that she did over on Netflix. And I know everyone's kind of gone into a bit of a decluttering like mojo with it all, but this is something I've done for years now. It's a way that I save and make money and I regularly declutter and minimalize. So at least once a year, I will do a big one where I will work around room by room. This is generally just before or after Christmas when I know things are gonna be coming in and going into a new year, I like to feel fresh. Likewise, I regularly declutter the boys' toys. These are always before birthdays, always before Christmas that I declutter, and also in between as well. Like generally every two to three months, as the season changes, the boys get a little bit older, I do that. Likewise, clothing-wise, generally every season, I like to go through my clothes and declutter. There's generally so many items that I've fallen out of love with, or don't fit, or I say I'm gonna get back into, and I don't, and I am just so, over storing mess and if you guys know me you know how much i hate it and you would have seen loads of decluttering videos over here so i will leave them all linked below for you so you can go on over and find them if that's your kind of vibe but yeah i love decluttering and getting rid of stuff it makes me feel so much easier i can find things better I try and go for more of a minimal aspect in my home now to keep work surfaces clear and tidy because it's easier for cleaning. And likewise, I always sell stuff as well to make money and all things like that. So the next question I have for you guys is, do you use the weekend to clean or do you like to have the house clean for the weekend? So I'm a bit of both when it comes to this. I don't really have a set regime whereby Adam is off. Like our routine isn't set because Adam generally works on a Saturday. So we're generally not home of a Saturday to kind of spend that time with each other. But I'm kind of a bit of both. I will generally try and get as much done during the week whilst I know Adam's out of the home and he's at work. So we get to spend as much time with each other as possible. But then likewise, I like to clean on a Sunday and know that everything is kind of ready to go for the week ahead. So I'm kind of a mixture, but I know some people love having everything clean in the week so the weekend they can just relax i believe that's kind of what the organized mum method kind of teaches and i also know that some people use primarily the weekends to do it so that they're good for the week so i'd love to know what you do so my next question is what is your favorite zoflora scent now i feel like i could be here all day and i actually did my top five zoflora scents back in the summer of what they were during the summer period at the moment though, I must say, because we're a bit more wintry, I am loving winter morning. I'm just loving that one so much. It smells so good. But I think in the summer, I quite like Paradise Peach. I think it's Paradise Peach, not Paradise Beach. I also like the tropical one they brought out. I also love the lemon one. So there are so many that I love. But at the moment, it's definitely winter morning. And in the summer, I think Paradise Peach. 
So my next question is, do you have a strong opinion on toxic and non-toxic cleaning products? And do you prefer to use one over the other? Now, again, for me, I love the idea of toxic, toxic, non-toxic cleaning products. I love the idea of them being safe around my children and of all the things that comes with them, which is why I'm a massive advocate of method and I'm a massive advocate of trying to make as many of your sprays as possible when you can do. However, for me, I feel like there are some things that I just haven't managed to find in a non-toxic version that do a good enough job. So for me, I have a mold and mildew spray that I use in the bathroom and it's by Astonish and that is not non-toxic. And for me, I haven't found an equivalent that can do the same job. Likewise, I haven't found an equivalent of Viacal, which can really buff up all my chrome and stainless steel finishings as well. And I'd love to know if any of you guys out there have any suggestions of non-toxic chemical products that I could use in my home that would do a really good job on those areas because I'm really trying to work towards having a completely toxic free home when it comes to my cleaning products and all things like that. Number 12 for this is do you tidy the house before you go to bed? So do you go around and tidy all of your home so when you wake up in the morning it's clean? And um, for me, I hate going to bed with a messy house. Before I go to bed, I have to make sure all of the dishwasher is done, everything's in the dishwasher and the dishwasher is loaded. I have to make sure the sides are clean, that the downstairs has been hoovered, that the toilets are fairly clean, that all the boys' toys have been put away, that the shoes have been put away by the front door, that it's been mopped. I also have to make sure all my pillars are plumped and they're all plumped up. I just have to make sure that it's all tidy and organized because I love waking up to a tidy home. And I always find that if I don't wake up to a tidy home, it puts me in a really bad down mindset. I'm just one of these people that wakes up in the morning with so much energy and I just feel like it sets me off and it makes me have a good start to the day if my house is tidy and I'm ready to go. So my next question is if you could choose, would you rather never do the laundry again or never do the washing up again? Now for me, this is without foul an easy one. I would choose to never do the laundry again. I just feel like as a mum, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you probably know how I feel. The laundry is a never ending pile of stuff and it's just mountain high. I feel like I could do four or five loads of washing in a day and then I've been waiting for it to dry and then I'll be folding it and then by the time that whole process is finished, the washing pile has mounted back up and there is another untold loads of washing. And I feel like if I never had to do the laundry again, this would make me really happy. It's a job that I don't necessarily mind giving to someone else as long as they hang up the washing properly and they, they dry it properly. Um, but yeah, if I could avoid doing that ever again, I would. I don't mind washing up because I feel like it doesn't take too long and then it is done. Although I don't really like the fact that I don't have a sink that overlooks a window because I feel like I look at a wall and I'm pretty bored. But if I had a better house and I had a sink that overlooked a window, that would be solved easily. Okay, so for number 14, it is who are your favorite cleaning YouTubers? Now, I have a list as long as my arm of YouTubers that I could tell you that I love to watch clean. I guess for me, I didn't really know that such a thing existed until I started doing it myself and realized it was such a big thing. And I think one of the first people that I stumbled upon because people were telling me that I was very similar to her was Love Meg. And Love Meg, she is amazing. Her cleaning videos are absolutely on point. I also love Brianna, Brianna Kay. She is an absolute darling. I love watching her clean. She gives me so much motivation. My Staffa, she is also fab. I love watching her cleaning videos. Jessica Toll, there are so many girls out there that I love. And they generally tend to all be American because I feel like the majority of like the bigger, longer cleaning videos are all done by the American girls and I love to watch those. They're the ones that I'll always turn on because they have good music and they have lovely houses. And generally their houses are bigger so I watch a longer video, but they always give me so much inspiration to get cleaning. And my very last question is, would you or do you hire a cleaner? Now, I'd love to know how many of you guys actually have a cleaner that comes into your home and regularly cleans, or would you ever consider getting one? Now, for me, I only ever considered getting a cleaner once, and that was when I had a broken foot and I was about seven or eight months pregnant with Parker, and it had just gone to the point we were in the peak of the summer, it was boiling hot, and I just couldn't do it anymore. My foot was so swollen, and I was so done but I only hired her once. 
she did an awful job. And to be honest, it probably wasn't even the fact that it was that bad, but she took two hours to clean a bit of my kitchen and a bathroom. It wasn't even immaculately clean. There were smear lines and stuff like that. And it just made me realize that I would actually prefer to do it myself because I'm paying somebody to do an okay job that I'm just gonna go around and re-clean and try and tidy anyway, and that I'm not going to be happy with. Likewise, I was actually considering getting one even recently, to be honest with you, because I felt like in between filming for you guys and then trying to be with the kids and stuff like that, I was running out of time. However, the money that I would spend on a cleaner would actually be better putting Parker into nursery for an extra half a day or something like that so I can get the cleaning done and then film it for you because I know I'm not gonna be happy with the job that a cleaner does, that's just me, um, but that's the way it is. But I would love to know if you guys would or do hire a cleaner and what your thoughts are on it. So all the questions are now finished and I'm gonna tag some lovely ladies in the description box below who I would love to join in with this tag and try it out for themselves and answer all the questions. I will leave all the questions in the box below and like I said, I tag all of you guys too. If you guys wanna join in, then go on, create a video about it over on YouTube or just simply leave it in the comments box below. I would love to hear your thoughts on all of those things. And don't forget to tag me over on Instagram when you do create this tag so I can come on over and watch yours as well. But that is everything from me. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again in another video very shortly. Bye guys.